Hello, this is Sims Art, and today I'm going to show how to create art with vector tools in Clip Studio Paint. The most common way of drawing in Clip Studio Paint is by using raster layers. However, if resized or transformed, this type of layer can lose quality over time. Using a vector layer instead allows the artist to change the contents of the layer after a line or shape has been put on the canvas. From the size of a line to its shape or opacity, there will be no risk of losing any details. This can be useful in many applications where upscaling after the design is completed is necessary or to retain a great freedom of editing, important in many working scenarios. Let's see where to find and how to use vectors in Clip Studio Paint. Where can I find a vector layer? Vector layers can be created going in Layer, New Layer, Vector Layer. A new layer will appear in the layer window. It can be recognized by a small icon representing a cube. What can I draw on a vector layer? Vector layers accept any direct draw tool like pen, marker, pencil, pastel, etc. But also lines, curves, rectangles, ellipses or polygons. When drawing, using any of these tools on a vector layer, the result, based on our initial parameters, will be as we were drawing on a raster layer, but as we will see, everything can also be changed. We can, for example, draw a brush stroke using any of the default tools like pen or pencil, and we can draw shapes using any tool from the figure subtool. In case any of these subtools isn't showing in the toolbar, it's possible to create them again by clicking on a burger menu of the toolbar and then on Add from default. From the window, it's possible to add any default subtool existing in Clip Studio Paint. In this video, I will use mostly pen, operation, figure, and correct line. How can I edit a vector layer? Let's start drawing a line with a brush and a shape with the figure subtool. At a first glance, it seems like any raster layer. However, being a vector layer, we can now select our shapes thanks to the operation tool from the toolbar. When clicking on any line or shape with the operation tool, we will immediately notice that our selected object has a blue line with some white dots overlapped. The dots are called points, while the lines are called paths. With the Object tool, we can click on the lines and drag and drop the object to move it somewhere else altogether. But the real power of vectors is that we can click the points and change the shape of the line completely, without losing quality. Using the Operation tool is only the tip of the iceberg of the editing possibilities we have using vector layers. Once an object is selected with the Operation tool, we can now open the Subtool Detail window, located in Window, Subtool Detail, and change every single aspect of the line. We can make it bigger or smaller, change its color, etc. It's possible to change it as we were drawing it again, but with a different tool, without having to remake a brushstroke. This feature is perfect for trying different line art looks after line art has been designed. Clip Studio Paint has also other useful tools to edit a vector line. From the Correct Line subtool, it's possible to select different tools that operate some changes on the line. Each one of these tools has many options that allow a different effect. It's possible to change the line width, simplify a particularly jagged line, add and move control point, or change the vector line using the pinch vector line. Drawing with vectors can seem a bit overwhelming at the start. But with a bit of experience and thanks to all the useful tools that Clip Studio Paint provides, it can become a really powerful ally in the creation of complex line art design. With all that being said, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the Clip Studio Paint official YouTube channel for more contents like this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. See you next time.